My name is Dr. Mike Elman from Panorama Orthopedics, and I specialize in complex hip arthroscopy and the treatment of labral tears. Today we'll talk a little bit about the debate of whether or not to go forward with a labral repair versus a labral reconstruction. A labral repair simply means we take your own tissue and we fix it back to the bone. So you have a tear and we fix it. We put it back together with stitches and with suture anchors that go into the bone. A labral reconstruction simply means we get into the hip joint and we take out your own labrum and we put a brand new one in. We put in a graft or a cadaver tissue, a piece of dead tissue that goes into the hip joint and we try to re recreate or reconstruct a brand new labrum. So in the vast majority of patients, over 95% of patients who walk in my door, I think they're ideal candidates for a labral repair. I'm able to go in, we're able to fix your labrum, reattach it to the bone, and for the most part, patients do excellent. We have excellent clinical outcomes, greater than 90% success rates at both two and five years out after surgery. Indications for a labral reconstruction, on the other hand, it's more of a rare type situation. Less than 4% of my patients generally get a labral reconstruction. My indications for one are if you have had a previous failed labral repair where it hasn't worked and you continue to have pain, you've had a previous failed labral debridement where somebody has gone into your hip and shaved out your labrum, or in the very rare situation where I get into a hip joint and, I, and there's no, no labrum left to fix. The, the labrum is actually turned into bone or ossified. In those three settings are my indications for a labral reconstruction. So there's a great controversy uh, or debate in terms of what we should do with the labrum in a primary setting. There are some doctors who happen to be more aggressive than others with regards to treatment of the labrum and whether or not we do a primary labral repair versus a reconstruction. It's my philosophy that if we can save your own tissue, that's what we do. We save your own tissue, we repair it back to the bone, and frankly, as we talked about, patients do great. The thing that concerns me is when patients who are young, I treat 15 to 50 year olds, and if those patients who are really young get their native labrum taken out completely to put in a brand new one, I worry. There are a couple reasons why I worry. The first being that there are fibers that connect from a native labrum to the underlying cartilage. When those are disrupted by taking out the entire labrum, those aren't reconstituted ever again. And what I worry is if you have underlying cartilage damage and, and you have nothing protecting it, no new labrum, you just have a piece of dead tissue that it, you we're hoping heals in, that 5, 10, 15 years down the line in a 15 or 20 year old patient, we're going to start seeing more arthritis. Another reason that I'm concerned about doing labral reconstructions in young patients is I was always taught to think about the second surgery. What happens if your first surgery fails? So what if we go in and we do a labral repair? If it fails, well I can always take it out and I can do a labral reconstruction. But what happens in that patient who is young and has had a labral reconstruction? They have a graft in there. What happens if they fail? We're kind of out of options. The options are basically trying it again, which probably won't work, or doing a hip replacement. And there is no way I would l like to sit in a patient's room with a 30-year-old patient who's a couple years out from a labor reconstruction and recommend a hip replacement. Overall, my philosophy is to be conservative in my approach with the labrum. If I can fix your tissue, I'll fix it. If I can't, then we replace it. It's pretty simple. From a patient perspective, I think the most important thing to do is to educate yourself. The vast majority of complex hip arthroscopists, not only in this country, but throughout the world, are really on the train where we try to repair everyone's labrum first. And if that fails, then we can always do a reconstruction next.